What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I assembled these. So I made a video a couple weeks ago about these brakes and they worked fine but I guess this was a better way to do it and these work more reliable. So I'll go ahead and show you everything and how I did it. So first of all, I drilled two holes in my sprocket and bolted the drum to the sprocket. Here I have a lock collar. There's a key that goes through the sprocket. Then I got the steel tubing, which I bolted to the frame, and I welded this three inch bolt to it. And that's where the other side of the drum brake band attaches. I've bolted that on, add some washers and tape for spacing, and that's where that goes. Up here, I have welded a two inch bolt to this long metal rod, which runs to the arm up here. I'll get to that in a minute. But over here, I have attached this side of the band and that's how the brake sits on the bolt. Once you've got that, that's basically all you're going to have to do. Just tighten these bolts accordingly. So right now if I spin the sprocket, the wheels and everything spins. It's minimal rubbing, it barely touches, but that's because I haven't really breaking the brakes in. haven't been using them because I don't have my engine. But the engine will be coming soon, and I'll be continue building. But for now, as you can see, this rod attaches up here. Up here, I have welded another 2 inch bolt, which goes through this rod. This rod was the legs of the chair, so when I, so when I cut them off, I used it as a rod. I drilled a few holes, so it's screwed into the frame right there. And this is the bolt where it disconnects, so you pull this, um, the brakes work. I didn't have a spring on hand so I used these red cable. It's basically like a spring and when you pull this forward it like pulls it back in place. There's a stop over here and I use this stop just to make sure nobody pulls this nobody pulls this too far back because if you pull it too far back then you're gonna run into some problems. So this is that piece of wood that stops it from moving too much back. So that's about it for the brakes. I'll give you a quick demonstration how it works. Demonstration. Let's spin this as fast as you can. And then we've come here. And the sprocket has stopped. And now when I leave it, it goes back into place. So that's quite simple. I have this go-kart sitting on a few bricks over here. So that's why the wheels aren't touching the ground. And I also need a way to fix the wheels to the axle. Right now I just screwed it in like that, but that's just for now. I'm going to have to weld some bolts at the end of the axle and then bolt the wheels there. But for now, they're fine over here. And I'll give you another demonstration. Let's spin it again. It's already stopped. You barely have to pull it and they work really well. That's it for this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, put your comments down there, and I'll see you guys when I get the engine.